Yes, good, good afternoon. Good afternoon. And um, this is a contentious subject in many countries. Why do you think it has become uh, so contentious in France? Oh, because uh, France has uh, this uh, Declaration of Human and Civic Rights since uh, 1789, and we are uh, we are very uh, well, um, we, we really want to stick to this uh, Article Number Four that says that liberty uh, consists in uh, doing anything you want uh, until you uh, you you you, you, you uh, sorry you. Uh, uh, I forgot my words. Um, until you, you, you do not, until you, you have to respect the liberty of others, and and that's a point. Liberty is really, as as you mentioned earlier, uh, the first word of our uh, national uh, anthem. So we do. We do want to respect this liberty. However, uh, we have many, many things in our daily lives where we have decided that we have to respect, we have constraints, just talking about uh, the speed on the roads, uh, vaccination for the, for the kids, vaccination for, uh, for, the, uh, for the medical sector. Uh, we do have many, many constraints that we do respect because we know that we, if we do not have these constraints, then we forget about our uh, individual liberty also. So here we have to find a balance between the protection of the people's health and, on the other hand, the restrictions of our own liberty. But make it very clear, the one that we have to fight is clearly the virus, and we should have all our decisions around no liberty for the virus. That is really what we have to keep you, in mind. Not, not everyone, even on your party, agrees with that, though. At least one MP has said she's f fiercely opposed to using this passport for everyday activities. Um, I, I think one, one former, one former uh, MP from your party uh, w w yeah. is even against vaccinations. I mean, how do you persuade people? And, and we've heard at that demonstration and saw at that demonstration on at the weekend, that there are pretty sizable numbers who are prepared to come out and protest against this. How do you persuade them that this okay. is the right way forward? About the demonstrations, we have two categories. One, on the one hand, we have people who, are, uh, hesitate, who hesitate about the vaccination. And we do have people who are really sincerely hesitating. They, are, they have some, some fear about the vaccination. We have to convince them. These are the most number of people. And on the other hand, you have people who do not want this this uh, health pass on the day in their daily lives but again we do have controls in our daily lives when you take a train when you take a bus uh, even when you are uh, underage when you go in a bar or cafe to drink alcohol we do have constraints and controls already so this we just have to keep in mind that if we do not have these controls then tomorrow we have to again have restrictions back home stay home the stay home notice for how long we do not know we have many more restrictions that will key, clearly uh, impeach our freedom and of liberty of uh, of, uh, of the, in our daily lives how, how concerned are you that a number of mps and i, I mm. don't know whether you fall into this category who support the new measures have actually been receiving death threats in recent days Correct. It is true that we have received death rates, but again here... We have, have you have personally? That, n not, not personally. I, I didn't receive any... any oh, not uh, death threats, but some threats. I did receive hundreds of mails daily asking me not to vote for this new uh, law. Uh, but, however, it is a minority, and they have to understand that in a democracy, a minority cannot impose their own vision of what is good for us. Now, on the other hand, we also have to take into account those who are clearly hesitating, who think that maybe in their daily lives it will be a, more bit, a bit more complicated, which is not. Showing your pass when you go to a restaurant or, or, or a bar is the same as showing your pass when you take a bus or the MRT. That's, that's exactly the same. So we have to get a pass to uh, go on a, on a long distance travel, on a short distance travel, to commute daily, we also already have that. So I think it is the same just to make sure that this virus do not uh, um, restrict our own li daily liberties, which is much, much more. We know that from the previous waves. And Anne Genetay, uh, member of the French Parliament from uh, President Macron's party, thank you very much indeed.